Hey guys, it is Cooking with Charlie. It's Mother's Day today in North America, and so I asked Heather what she wanted to eat, and her dream meal was pork back ribs barbecued. Um, as it's Mother's Day, we're taking Heather's mother's recipe, um, which is actually taking the ribs, and we're gonna boil them in full fat coke for an hour, um, and then there's a uh, second bit to it as well, which we'll get to in a bit. But for now, we're gonna put the ribs, and we're gonna drop them in boiling coke for an hour. But it's two hours boil time, so leave that much time for it. Yes, two hours boil time, but we'll get to the second stage of the boiling in a bit. Yes. Cool. Okay, so the ribs are in there now. Um, we are gonna just pour enough Coke just to cover them over. We're gonna bring it up to a boil, and then we're gonna bring it down to a simmer and let it boil for, well, kind of sit in there for one hour. The reason we use the full, regular, full-fat Coke um, is the sugar kind of goes into the meat and also helps break down the fats as well. Um, and they end up tasting delicious. Yes, they're so tender. Fall so this off the is bone. The, this is the third this is the third full bottle of Coke I've got in here. Um, and just gonna push it down so it's all in there. And then let that bring up to a boil. Then we're gonna let it simmer for an hour and then we'll check in and we're gonna do something else for the second hour of boiling. Okay, so it's been an hour now. This has been bubbling away nicely. Um, as you can see, it looks gross. Uh, don't worry about that. Uh, now I'm going to pour an entire bottle of barbecue sauce. Grab whichever one you want and you're going to dump it into there. Um, the whole thing, uh, to get the remaining like the remaining stuff out, you might want to maybe put some water in it and shake the bottle around. Mm -hmm. um, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna leave this to do the same thing again for one hour. Uh, so bring it up to a boil and then let it kind of bubble and simmer away for one hour. And it's hopefully it's gonna do its magic and coat it with all the goodness. So let me just put some water in there. That didn't work at all. There <laughs> um, we go. That was better. Nice. And so we'll give it a mix around, do it for another hour, and then we'll throw it on the barbecue. Okay, so the ribs are done. They've been boiling for two hours now. They're just chilling out there. The barbecue is heating up, waiting to receive them. The corn is boiling. We've got the potatoes done. Uh, we're going to whip them now. What we've done is we've added half a cup of butter half a cup of cream cheese, half a cup of sour cream, a whole bunch of garlic powder, and some salt. And we're gonna whip it up, mix it all together, and it's gonna to taste awesome. Right, so I've now thrown the ribs onto the barbecue. They're fully cooked, because they've been boiling in that Coke barbecue mixture for two hours, which is great, but they're falling off the bone, which is what you want, but they're really fragile and so quite difficult to move around. So I've laid them on the grill, I'm just basting them in whatever barbecue sauce you want and I'm just going to cook the outside to make it a bit firmer while still being fall off the bone finger licking good ribs and that's it and hopefully I can actually make this work without destroying them before I actually get them onto the plate for everyone. Ah oh, they look perfect. Yeah. Cool, so it's all done, ribs done, looking awesome, Stella is freaking out because she wants to eat them all. We've got the creamed potatoes, whipped potatoes rather. <laughs> We've then got the corn going, ready to get buttered up. Then we have the Caesar salad, which I definitely didn't buy from a store. <laughs> I like to make everything homemade. Anyway, so this is it. Super simple, really flavorful, and more importantly, this is what the boss wanted, so. So here is the final product. You have the Coke ribs, looking awesome. You have the garlic whipped potatoes, Caesar salad, and the corn. And so there you have it. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. Have a great weekend, and uh, hope you enjoy.